Hi, this is Nellie K. It's Saturday, March 18th, 2017. I'm down at the Feather River where I made a previous video when the spillway was not releasing water. At that time, the river was 45 feet deep. Right now, it's probably 51 or 52 feet deep. Across the way, straight ahead of this shot, is where the Yuba River joins the Feather River. In the previous video, you can see there's a sandbar over there. Well, it's covered up now. And this is the river bank. The things along the edge are covered up now that were exposed in the last video. So it's risen maybe seven or eight feet. They're expecting it would be if they're releasing 40 to 50,000 cubic feet per second from Oroville, we would see about a 10 or 15 degree, uh, foot, 10 or 15 foot rise in the river. So it's about halfway there. You can see the weather. Uh, the clouds are pretty, pretty dark. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. And you can see the sand. It's all still dry here above the riverbank, but as the river rises, when it rises another seven or eight feet, you can tell it would be up here on the sand. When they were running releases at 100,000 cubic feet per second, you can see the levee up there. The water was starting to touch that green part. And a lot of these trees were at least partially underwater. Um, let me show you as it's headed down. And then the sky. It's chilly. I don't know what temperature it is. It feels like it's about 50 degrees. And so there, I'll pan around and show you. So I'll be headed back to my car. I was on last time when I took the video and there's the levee. I, as I told you the flood watch stage is 65 feet. Flood stage is 80 feet for the Feather River here and at 83 feet it would top that levee. So, let's see. I'll give you one more shot from a little further. So that's what the Feather River is like. 30 miles downstream from the Oroville Dam. See you later.